Looking for a roast that's easy on the wallet, but big on flavor? We've got the technique for you. Roasting is a simple technique, so let's walk you through a few steps to make sure that you get a nice eating experience from a top round. Um, in this case, we have a roast that's about four and a half or five pounds, top round. We're gonna use a roasting pan fitted with a rack, and I also have foil in the bottom so that I can keep the cleanup nice and easy. And then I have a simple rub that um, can really enhance the flavor of this top round. So you see we've got marbling in here, which is great so it can base the roast as it cooks. To get it ready for the oven, we're going to put a little bit of oil on the outside. And the reason I do this is because we're gonna put it in an oven that's got a really hot temperature to get a good sear on the outside. Then we're gonna ride it nice low temperature to finish cooking to its internal doneness about 125. So the oil's nice and coated on the outside. This will also help a rub stick to it. So the rub that I have here has got exceptional flavor to it. It's got salt, pepper, it's got orange zest, so dried orange peel, and coriander and ginger, so it gives a good Asian flavor to it. Make sure I get the rub all the way around the whole surface, nice and even, on every side, and then start to rub it in just a little bit. And it is called rub for a reason, right? It's nice and coated, and just put it in the oven. So. I have a fitted rack on a roasting pan, and I'm gonna go into a really hot oven, 450 degrees, so I can get a good sear on the outside. After 15 minutes at 450, we're gonna drop the temperature to 325. I'm using the Roast Perfect app as a tool so I can nail this temperature. Uh, I set in top round, I put four and a half pounds, and I targeted medium rare, and that means I've got about 70 minutes here at 325. It's been an hour and 10 minutes, and my roast should be right where I want it to be before resting. So I'm gonna confirm the temperature is, yes, 125, and we'll let it rest. This is super important to let your roast rest, and especially true with the top round. The Roast Perfect app says 15, but I'm gonna do that as a minimum. I'm probably gonna do 20 minutes on this, because what happens is the energy of cooking in the roasting technique it's accelerated on a path that this is gonna keep cooking. So at 125, it's gonna ride all the way up to 135 degrees, which is my target. If you're concerned about your roast getting cool, go ahead and tent it with foil. After 20 minutes of resting, our roast is now ready to slice. So I'm gonna put this on the cutting board. And then we'll slice it super thin. That's important with round. So Against the grain, if you can see a grain direction, which I kind of see it goes at an angle this way, so you'll see I'll, I'll cut slices that are super thin, kind of at an angle on this roast, just because I want to oppose. The reason for that is so that you have the most tender eating experience possible for a round. Boy, look at that doneness. That's exactly what I was looking for. So by going at um, high heat initially at 450, Dropping it down to 325, we were able to coast to our target doneness of 135 or so for a medium rare. For other doneness options, pick your favorite here. And there you have it, a perfectly done top round, cooked exactly the way I like it. I can't wait to dive in and enjoy it. For more top round recipes and this specific one, go to certifiedangusbeef.com.